What up? It's True Punk Gamer. Welcome to a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on live commentary. So guys, this is a really important video for my channel, especially for everybody that tunes in often and to almost all my videos, really cares about the channel and stuff. Pretty sure I mentioned that in that last video that you guys should really check out this video if you care about the channel, because it's really important. So, first off, I want to start this off, and I know I needed to make this, this is a long time coming, but I just wanted to say thank you for all the support, all the subscribers, I've been growing uh, insanely fast, um, what are we at right now, we're probably at like, what, five or six hundred something, and that's absolutely insane, I can't name the number off the top of my head, I've been using this app that kind of like, bro, helps smaller YouTubers grow and it's been helping, so thank you guys for all your support. Um, all of it is definitely appreciated. It makes my day to know that people enjoy my videos and subscribe to my channel because they enjoy it and stuff like that. Because I just love to make other people happy and do that. So, and yeah, another thing as well, guys, I've been hiding something for a long time that I have to get off my chest. And I'm actually making this video the day that I would record out last in a week ahead. But I want to make this video because I just want to get this off my chest and be able to make sure that you guys know about this and everything. It's still going up on the normal day, I'm just saying. But there's some things I've been hiding which is, well, how I'm feeling. And I've been feeling very unnormal, if that makes sense. My moods have been really bouncing around and it's been bad, you know. Um, I know I shouldn't be like this and this isn't normal for anybody how I'm feeling. And, you know, sometimes I'm happy and then... Sometimes I'm just pissed off for no reason, you know, I can be super pissed off for no reason. Not want to talk to anybody and just get pissed off at everything. And it shouldn't be that way, you know. Sometimes I'm just really sad. Usually what happens is I go from being really angry to feeling absolutely no emotion at all. And then I go to feeling really sad. So I've been going through a lot emotionally and I think it's because I've gone through so much so fast in a short amount of time. And I'm not going to go through and name everything that's happened, but yeah, it's been rough and I need, I'm going to go get like therapy or something. I need something, you know, and to help me out with that. So I'm getting the help that I need, hopefully soon. Uh, I plan to schedule an appointment and yeah, so hopefully that's going to work out well. Um, I've tried therapy before. It didn't really get me that far because I didn't actually get into it because you need to have like three appointments to talk about stuff before you actually get into the therapy type thing I guess that's just how it works it's the place that I have to go to there's nowhere else I can go so yeah I'm gonna be getting the help that I need um, I try my best to sound as happy and stuff in my videos and you know positive vibes if you guys watch leafy there you'll see what I mean but really yeah I don't I'm not fake you know I don't try to sit there and be fake and if I'm mad I'm not gonna record a video where I'm happy you know, I just try to record when I'm in the best moods possible and stuff like that, and hopefully it all works out. Usually after school, I'm in a pretty good mood for that amount of time, so I just get to recording, and that works out well for me, usually. So, the next thing is I'm going to go over a story. Um, it's pretty damn interesting, in my opinion, and it's kind of creepy. So, yeah, story time with True Punk Gamer. Let's get it. So, today... After me and my mom went to have Chinese food, right, we went to walk the dog at the forest because we're like, hey, why not? You know, it sounds peaceful, relaxing and stuff. So we go to what we walk the dog and I'm pretty sure I left to go do something here in this. I don't know. Anyway, it's just a story. So, yeah, we go to take the dog in the walk in the forest, uh, a local like forest reserve. And well, we're so we're taking the dog to walk. And as soon as I got there and actually started walking inside the forest itself, I felt strange like something's up there's something going on here like what why do I feel this way why do I feel so weird about being here all of a sudden because I basically grew up there I would used to go there a lot uh, throughout my childhood and the Chinese food place but that's not really the point um, and then as we're walking after we see these deer which is kind of odd because usually we don't see the deer like huge deer there but we did so that was pretty cool you know they were hopping which is pretty ironic. Well, not ironic, but it's pretty... The fact that we saw deer's leap on a leap year, on the leap year day, is just, I don't know. Um, but, and then we're walking, right? We're walking the dog, everything was going fine. I still feel kind of weird. Um, I'm like, what's going on here? And I see this dude in the forest, alright? And this dude's wearing, like, full, like, dark blue. 
He has a dark blue hat. He has a dark blue jacket, pants, and maybe shoes. I don't know. I didn't really see him. But he's walking through the forest. And I saw him look at me and my mom. And he looked away and he was just looking around and stuff. Maybe he looked at us more. I'm not too sure. And this dude wasn't on a path. Like, he was just in the woods. Just walking. Like, I, you're supposed to stay on the path, you know? Like, that's where the deer go and all that stuff. So, he's just walking along. And I swear, I got the weirdest fucking feeling when I saw this dude. It was like that feeling. I was really, like, creeped out. It felt really weird. And I felt like I've seen this guy before. And I was like, what the hell? Like, it was really weird, you know? It was one of those, like bad like scared feelings you know that is just kind of odd to have and then that brings me to a story kind of in a story sense thing and i knew i had a feeling i've seen this guy before i just don't know where and it seems like this dude's like haunting me or something i don't know what's going on it just gave me that really odd feeling and i kind of don't know why but i think i can link it back to another story so i'm gonna get into that so me and my friend david this is a long time ago this is like years ago we were our, like what nine or ten maybe and we're walking through the forest with my mom and we're in an area that we never really go to but a lot of people around that area go to we just wanted to go somewhere new and we heard these like noises of like the bushes and shit moving as we were going through like near us like as we were going through it was in different places and it was really weird like i don't know it was creepy and we knew that in our neighborhood that we lived in there was this crazy dude right and he was insane. Like, he lived in a really, like, torn up house and shit. Kind of like the stereotypical crazy guy. He'd always yell at kids and do just weird shit. And we were thinking it was him. Because this dude's mentally insane. Like, we don't know. And this dude has, like, something to do with us in some way. We, we're not too sure what's going on. And then we come across this, like, it's just the... This is kind of disturbing. Then we go back out into the field, you know. And we're in the field. After all that scary shit, we are absolutely terrified. I'm pretty sure we ended up running out. And as we're walking back, we see this severed deer leg. Like, it, there's no body of the deer. Nothing. It was just its leg. Like, it was, like, sawed off. And, like, it was bad. But I got a really... I got the exact same feeling when I saw that. And as I was going through that forest with my friend, as I did when I saw it today. This was literally today. I went through the forest and saw this dude. So maybe, I don't think it's the same, it could be the same dude, maybe? I'm not sure, but this is some creepy shit, you know? Uh, I'm not too sure what to think of this, it kind of really creeps me out. Um, I knew I see this guy before, and this is the first thing it links back to me, because I've had the same feeling about this guy, and how I felt at the forest, and I don't know, it seems to kind of link together to me, and it's kind of weird. But I don't know if this is the same dude or not. Like I said, he was wearing a hat, and I didn't get too good of a view of him today because he was out there in the forest you know and there's a ton of trees and shit I, I could obviously see him there you know and it, I got a really weird feeling like I said and it I don't know um but yeah so we see that and we're like what the hell like what the fuck is going on why is this here did something just like attack it and just take everything but this but it didn't look like that it literally looked like someone just killed a deer chopped off its leg and then just took the deer like <laughs> i don't know it's kind of weird and i had a feeling that it was that dude you know that crazy guy that we knew in our neighborhood for some reason he had a tie-in with us somehow i don't know how but this dude's not there anymore that house is really abandoned i can still go to it from where i live right now um it's by my grandparents house that i used to always go to when i was little or and younger and stuff so yeah I don't know, I just really wanted to share this story with you guys because it kind of creeps me out and I'll give you guys any more feedback if anything like this happens to me. I don't know, it was really weird and strange and I don't know, I felt like as after that happened in the forest today and I saw that dude and then I was kind of just thinking about a ton of stuff. I had a ton of weird looks on my face, my mom would say, because I was just thinking about a ton of stuff after that happened. And I just had the feeling someone's watching me the whole time. Until we left, I felt like somebody was watching me. And like I don't know and also while we were walking through the forest before we seen that guy and stuff there was this car and it had the all black windows you know it's illegal to have that if you're driving uh, just normally and stuff but anyway it's just, it's just this car parked there and I could tell there was a dude in there once I got from afar I don't know if it was the glare but yeah I'm I don't think that has anything to do with it it was 
to be honest, it was probably just a dude smoking pot out in the woods. Because I know that's like a thing people do. They just go out into the woods and smoke pot in their car so they don't get caught or something. I don't know. This is a thing people do, I guess. Like the woods and pot go together, I guess. <laughs> don't, no kids, bad. But, yeah. I'm not going to give my opinion on the whole pot situation. But that was the gist of it. Uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for all the support and like t make sure you guys know what I'm going through so we can be more like connected and stuff and you know I'm going through a lot and I'm dealing with it and I'm going to get help for what I need because it's really bad and I don't want to continue to go through it. Anyway guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like as I said all support just makes my day and I appreciate it. So yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Isn't that a beautiful rock? Poise. Bows.